Hey, what's up everyone? Danny here. This is the Electronics W650 KK1 15 inch gaming laptop. Uh, from here on out though, I'm just gonna refer to it as the W650 because that's just way too long of a name to say. I haven't done a laptop review on this channel up to this point yet because in general, they're usually pretty pricey, especially if you want them to be able to game decently. But this one doesn't follow that trend. I found this on Electronics website, which I found through Build a PC Sales and Slick Deals, for only $679. That was $679 out the door. That's free shipping, no tax, no rebates, or any other hoops to jump through. Now that was the sale price. Normally this is listed at $750. That's the regular pricing. But even at that price, I still think it's really competitive. So let's check out what it's equipped with and see if it might be a good fit for you if you're in the market for a budget gaming laptop. First, let's talk about the company that this laptop comes from because it's very likely that you've never heard of electronics. It sounds like an iffy company that's from overseas, like from China or something, but that's not the case at all. Electronics is based in Delaware and that's where the laptops ship out from and their customer support is stateside as well. The W650 is actually a bare bones laptop that comes from the company Clevo. They're a very well known ODM that designs laptops to be customized and sold under different brands. In terms of warranty, Electronics offers a one year warranty by default with the option to pay for a longer term if you want to. The W650 came packed really well. It had multiple layers of boxes and padding to protect the laptop. Inside the box you have the laptop, battery, charging adapter, and some manuals, as well as an installation CD which I found a bit funny since this laptop does not have a CD drive. Here are the dimensions and weight. Aesthetically, this laptop is very plain looking. And I'm not really saying that as a bad thing, it's just objectively plainer than the typical gaming laptops that you see. You know, they usually have bright colors to accent them or like sleek angles and designs in the body that make them stand out as gaming laptops. This doesn't have any of that. The body is primarily hard plastic and because of this, it feels a little bit cheap compared to laptops with metal, rubberized, or soft plastic finishes. On the left side of the laptop, we have a VGA connector, gigabit ethernet, two USB 3.0s, and HDMI out. On the right side, we have a Kensington security lock, another USB 3.0 port, USB 2.0, and a mic and headphone jack. And last but not least, on the front side, there's an SD card reader. The W650 comes installed with a fully licensed version of Windows 10 64-bit Home Edition. This is a pure version of Windows. There's zero bloatware, only pre-installed drivers for hardware like the GPU, audio device, webcam, and things like that. The screen on this laptop is a 1080p matte IPS panel. Unfortunately, I don't have professional equipment to quantify the brightness or color accuracy, but comparing it to my 34-inch LG Ultrawide IPS monitor, this screen looks great. I have no complaints about the picture quality. The colors are vibrant, the image is crisp and clear, and it's plenty bright so it looks good even in direct sunlight. Viewing angles are also good from all directions. The keyboard is full size, which is something I always appreciate since I often use the 10 key. There's no backlighting and the letters are printed on. The keys are flat chiclet style with about 1.5mm of travel distance. It's a pretty typical laptop keyboard. It's not going to compare to mechanical keyboards, but it works well for browsing and casual gaming. That being said, it is accurate to type on, and I was able to get anywhere between 90 to 100 words per minute with 100% accuracy, which is pretty close to what I'm able to get with my daily use mechanical keyboard. The trackpad is accurate with no issues of delay or stuttering. There are dedicated left and right clicks which are separate from the touch surface and they're on the soft and quiet side. I usually like a louder click with a noticeable bump but since you can't really game on a touchpad anyways, it's not a deal breaker for me. The W650 has a built-in microphone and a 1 megapixel webcam that records at 720p and here's a sample of the video and sound quality. It's decent for audio and video calls but if you're looking for something higher quality so that you can do content creation or streaming, you'll probably look for an external solution. The speakers on this laptop are down facing and located on the front side. They get decently loud, but like most laptop speakers, they're lacking when it comes to bass, even after playing with the equalizer. Here's a sound test. Powering all of this is the battery, which is rated at 62 watt hours, and it gave me roughly 4 hours of browsing and light media consumption at half brightness. Gaming on battery lasted about an hour. Opening up the laptop is really easy, just remove 4 screws and you're in. With the back cover off, you have access to basically everything you need in case you want to upgrade later on. The CPU is a full desktop processor, the Intel Pentium G4560. This is by far one of the most popular CPUs at the moment, and rightly so. It has a performance of an i3 at half the cost, clocked at 3.5GHz with 2 cores and hyperthreading for a total of 4 threads. It's got 2 copper heat pipes venting to the side to keep it cool. The motherboard supports up to a 65 watt processor, allowing you to easily upgrade to any locked i5 or i7 from the Skylake and Cable Lake family. The TPU is the 4GB GTX 1050 Ti, which performs almost identical to the desktop version. 
The core has a base clock of 1493 MHz with a boost of 1620, and the memory is clocked to 1752 MHz. Unlike the CPU, the GPU only has one copper heat pipe venting to the side, and it runs on the warmer side, but we'll discuss temperatures in a bit. There's a single 8GB stick of Samsung DDR4 RAM at 2400 MHz with an additional slot for another stick. For storage, it comes with a SanDisk Z400S 128GB M.2 SATA SSD, and there's room to add more storage. In total, this laptop can support one M.2 NVMe SSD, one M.2 SATA SSD, and one 2.5-inch SATA drive. For connectivity, there's a wireless AC and Bluetooth 4.0 adapter. Regarding cooling performance, the CPU never went over 65 degrees during use. The GPU on the other hand runs warm. While gaming, it can reach the mid-80s, depending on the title, but it's still far from the max safe temperature and you don't have to worry about throttling during gameplay. The heat pipes do a really good job venting out the side of the laptops. Very little heat can be felt through the keyboard and the bottom should you have it placed on your lap. The fans definitely ramp up on their load though, and here's what they sound like. So the laptop and I are about equal distance away from the mic, about 4 feet, and this is normal conversation level. And this is about as loud as the laptop gets when it's under load while gaming and the fans are ramped up. Alright, so now for the benchmarks. Settings used per benchmark will be shown on screen when applicable, and all the benchmarks were recorded using an external capture device, so there's no hit to the performance. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the benchmarks.
So those were the benchmarks, and I'm actually really happy with the results that the W650 put up, all things considered. Of course, it's not going to be able to compete head-to-head -to, -head to like an equivalently priced desktop, but that's not the point. Uh, there's a reason why there's a premium on laptops over desktop, and that's for that mobility factor. In some situations, it just makes more sense to get a laptop over a desktop, and the biggest one I can think of is if you are a student and you want to game. Uh, being a student once myself, I look at this as a really awesome option for a budget school and gaming laptop. These are just my thoughts on it though, what do you think? Let me know down in the comment section below as well as any other questions you might have and I'll try my best to answer them uh, to the best of my ability anyway. I also have this linked in the description section in case you want to check it out and possibly buy it for yourself. This is by no means a sponsored or affiliate link or anything like that. This was me stumbling across a really cool product, getting it and then sharing it with you all so that hopefully some people can benefit from this because I do see a lot of value in this laptop at this low of a price. But um, yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. So if you guys enjoyed or did find it helpful at all, please be sure to leave a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Thank you as always for watching and I look forward to reading all your comments down below as well as seeing you in the next video. Bye.